The last lesson in section 1.3 deals with adding and subtracting square roots. We worked on multiplication and division in example 1. We will now cover in example 4, adding and subtracting. Now for those of you that are used to combining like terms, adding and subtracting work the exact same way. So for instance, if you had 2x's plus 4x's, all you need to do is add the numbers out front, and the answer would be 6x's. Adding and subtracting square roots work the exact same way. As long as the number underneath the square root sign is exactly the same, all you have to do is add the two numbers out front. So 5 plus 3 is 8 times the square root of 2 would be your final answer for this particular problem. Now, let's look at a problem that involves a little bit more complication. Let's say we have 5 square roots of 3 minus the square root of 12. Now, before you say that this can't be done, you need to do a little checking. Obviously, we all know square root of 3. 3 is a prime number, so you can't break this down any further. So the only way that we are going to be able to do this particular problem is if this second piece has a square root of 3 in it. Well, earlier this lesson, you learned to simplify square roots. So the question is, can we simplify the square root of 12? And obviously, if we're intelligent and we're smart about it, we need to have the square root of 3 as part of the answer. Well, we all know that 12 is the same as the square root of 4 times the square root of 3. 4 is the largest perfect square that goes into 12, and so this part becomes 2 square roots of 3. The square root of 12 is the same as what I wrote in blue. Therefore, I can cross this piece out and write 5 square roots of 3 minus 2 square roots of 3. And now, underneath the square root is exactly the same. And so 5 minus 2 is 3. And then the square root of 3 just stays as part of the answer. And we are done. We have now simplified our problem, our original problem that was in red. Okay, I'm going to go up a page, and now I would like you to solve this problem and see if you can get the same answer as I get. The square root of 80 minus 5 square roots of 5. Please stop the video at this time and solve this problem. All right. Square root of 5, prime number. Can't break it down any further. So if I'm going to be able to do this minus, then I must have to have the square root of 5 over here. Well, that works out nicely because the square root of 80 can be written as the square root of 16 times the square root of 5. We all know the square root of 16 is the number 4. So that becomes 4 square roots of 5. So then I bring down the rest of the problem, which is minus 5 square roots of 5. The radicand or the numbers inside are the same, so that means I can take the 4 minus 5, which is negative 1. We don't write the 1, and so I have negative square root of 5 as my final answer. That should help you. Complete the assignment on section 1.3, and that is how you add and subtract square roots.